we have actually on the sim we have the big agenda actually you look at the mission or sim actually we want to become a referral body for practitioner actually the policy maker stakeholder to really consult us on energy education and then one of the strategic objective actually also to as a collaboration among practitioner policy maker so you can see that you know the sim is not just us among us lecturer we may discuss actually we have to go beyond beyond this we want to really make a meaningful impact because certain thing we can do individual as a lecturer but more advocacy is needed actually if you want to really influence the decision maker to respond based on what is our word so uh, i agree as the what the title or this panel actually we, we need actually allow the voice to make a meaningful change in education so we have reached so far for the last close to 10 years we are successful to where we are now but if you want to make a bigger impact actually we have to have a louder voice uh, for example even not outside the university even within the, our own you know faculty if i you know take for example the current transformation you know founder uh, many years ago even recently uh, president indonesia juku mentioned that you know somehow you know things that have been taught 20 years ago has been continued to be taught perhaps we have to look uh, i actually really want to look actually what actually what actually we define as engineering fundamental is it the same what we've been taught 20 years ago because people say that with the current technology change probably the engineering fundamental the subject the topic need to be taught should be different I know that is difficult. I know it's difficult because actually, you know, we cannot add. By the time we should, again, I mentioned just now, it should be something on the top. So we should be from the top and coming down. So we have a problem to solve. And then actually, so we teach our student problem solving. So I think we now we have to do our own problem solving, try to solve this one. So quickly, I will uh, suggest. Uh, a quick, I just okay. I think we need to campaign to get a bigger number for our academic to join, and then uh, the award honorary fellow, not non-academic, you know, to our stakeholder to get them to be our supporter. Uh, we should, you know, conduct program that actually issue professional certification, you know, with the CPD, uh, proper certification, and then we probably can also certify the engineer educator with different tier. Probably, you know, the process probably still have to look. Uh, and then on the career promotion, I think still have to look. And then you probably suggest uh, what are the criteria to all the university, you know, for them to consider. Of course, we cannot detect. And then even sometimes people go for assessment to find the right external assessor for the promotion who understand the engineering education also difficult. Probably we can also provide the lead. I think you want still want to be a very credible scholarly scholarly uh, society. I think the research. But, you know, need to be done. Uh, really, I would say uh, evidence based. And then we should work in it to get more quality, impactful research in teaching and learning. Uh, we have to lobby for dedicated engineering research grant, especially in the United States, Europe, Korea. Uh, really do research actually can influence policy maker, conduct, you know, that kind of workshop for writing, proposal, and then good paper. And then lastly, Actually, we can try actually try to request through MSET so that actually SIM, one of the SIM representative, maybe the president say actually in the BM training and education committee. Okay. And then uh 30 probably 30, I think probably not that easy because these are our all our days. I think I we should I would recommend the same rep should be invited to attend MSET and you know, to engage directly with the faculty top management. They see. But the first one is that problem in which they're given a